What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I'm a Canadian reseller and that means that I like to go to places. What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. As you guys know, I'm a Canadian reseller and that means I go to thrift stores, yard sales, flea markets, or finding deals on Facebook Marketplace. And then I flip those for profits on either eBay or Facebook Marketplace. Lately, I've been selling a lot more on Facebook Marketplace than eBay, but I still have eBay and I still do list on eBay and make occasional sales as well. It's just Facebook's been a lot more recent, and a lot more rapid sales and I don't have to deal with eBay fees, taxes, or for the most part, shipping. Now recently you guys probably seen that I did purchase a lot of comic books, over 2,000 comics for $1,000. That equaled out to be about 45 cents per comic, which was a great deal because I'm at least going to be able to double my money, if not triple or quadruple it on this lot. Today, I'm going to be going through some of those comic book sales that I recently made because I don't even think I've sold maybe a quarter of the comics and I've already made back $600 of my money. So there definitely is profit to be made on the rest of the lot. It's just a matter of going through them. So today I'm going to be going through some of my most recent comic book sales. Let's get right into this. <music> Okay, so up first, my first sale was 28 Spawn Dark Age Comics. This was issue 1 to 28. The person that was buying them said that that was the complete run for that series. I can't confirm that. I didn't look into that. I'm just taking their word for it. So the 28 Spawn Comics Dark Age, I did sell for $50. That's just under $2 each, which is a great deal for him, a great deal for me. I don't know if I could have asked a little bit more for them because it was a really quick sale, but at the end of the day, 28 comics for $50, that is great in my mind. I only bought them for 45 cents each, and that's just under $2 each that they sold for. I'll absolutely take that. Next was 11 Bone Comics for $20. Now, this was a quick sale. I don't know if they're worth much more than that. Um, I just wanted them gone, so I listed them for $20. I was willing to accept $10, but the buyer paid the $20 anyways. I don't know if he collects Bone. I didn't even know Bone made comic books, so I thought that was interesting, but they did sell fairly quick, and they're ones that I didn't think I'd be able to sell for much more than a dollar each, but he paid, uh, I think it was just over $2 each. It was 11 comics for $20. That was another great sale in my opinion. Next was four Power Ranger comics for $10. This was issue one, two, three, and five. It was missing number four, but... This was a quick sale. I think he was happy with them. That's just over $2 each comic. And he came and met with me, picked them up. It was a great deal. I think they were Canadian exclusives. That's what it said on them. I knew nothing about them. I decided just to list them and they did sell fairly quick as well. Then we have eight Simpsons comics. I ended up selling them to the same guy that purchased the Bone comics. And he paid $25 for these Simpson comics, included Itchy and Scratchy, The Simpsons, Bartman, and I think Radioactive Man. Most of them had issue 1 to 3. I think Radioactive Man only had issue 1 and then issue 88. But he paid $25 for the 8 comics. Now, I did look them up for eBay sold comps. They did sell fairly high. I decided to just lock them together for $25, and he took them fairly quick. I don't know if he knew what they were worth, or he just collected Simpsons, so... At the end of the day, it was a great sale for me. He might have got a great deal, but I did get what I wanted for them. Next is the only graphic novel that I've sold. I think there was 18 in the lot of comics. Uh, this one was Spider-Man Reign. It sold for $10. That's what I've been selling most of the graphic novels for. I've been listing them for that. Not much interest in them. I might have to lower my prices or say... Uh, buy three get one free something like that, but hopefully I will sell more in the future But this is the first graphic novel that I sold and it sold for the ten dollars I was asking for it then he also purchased the fear itself comics This was issue one through seven a complete series for twenty dollars Which he was more than happy with and I'm really happy because I finally have that one gone That's one that I didn't know if anybody was gonna have real interest in it, but he did so hey It's gone. I'm extremely happy with that Next, I can't remember if he purchased this lot or somebody else did, but it's a lot of 130 comics that I sold for $100. That's about 75, 76 cents per comic. That's still me almost doubling my money on those. And there were a lot of PSI Force, 
uh, Spitfire, Merc, something. Ones that I honestly knew nothing about. I think for the most part there were issue 1 through 12 and then a couple extras for each of the series. I think there's eight total different kinds of comics, but I lauded them together just because I knew nothing about them. I didn't think I'd be able to sell them individually. 130 comics for $100, still that's great profit for me. I'll absolutely take that. I think they might have bought the next two things as well. The next one is the uh, Quicksilver issue one through 12 that I had. I sold that for $25. They were more than happy for that. And I was really excited because I just found them, listed them, and they purchased them the same day that I listed them, which was great. So it was Quicksilver issue 1 through 12. I'm just glad to see comics that I list selling that quick, and that was a great deal for me. Next was Turok Dinosaur Hunter. This was a variant comic, so not the Marvel or DC that I've been selling. There were issue... If I remember correctly, it was issue 1 through 27, and it just sold for $25. I had it listed for $50. Nobody was interested. I listed it for $25. Somebody bought them, so I was happy just to see them gone. I didn't think anybody was going to have interest in them, but this buyer did, so I was happy to see them go. Next was the first, and I believe at this point, the only difficult buyer when it came to my comic books. Most of the time on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace, I've been listing the comics in lots and saying I want to sell them as lots. This guy asked to meet and he wanted, I think, three or four lots. So I brought them and whenever he was going through them, he was only picking out the ones that he wanted. He wasn't buying the whole lot. So at first, whenever he was going through like that, I just didn't even want to sell to him because I'm trying to sell them as lots. Most people are buying them in the lots instead of picking and choosing which comics they want, because I don't want somebody to go through the lots, just pick out the best ones, and I'm stuck with all of the not so great ones. So he did pick out some X-Men, he did pick out some of my Disney and Looney Tunes, and he just added more and more to his pile, and it equaled out to be about $40, and that's what he paid me. So I was more than happy to take his money. The only thing is, whenever I got home, I had to take pictures and repost everything because he split up a lot of my lots. So to me, it was just a hassle, more difficult dealing with them. And at the other end, he was also kind of rude, so I know I'm not dealing with him again, but I did end up taking his money and making a $40 sale in the process. Next is the first comics that somebody asked me to ship. It was at first only going to be 24 Batman comics. Nothing spectacular, but it was, I, I think I had it listed for $50. He asked me to ship, I gave him a price on shipping, and then he offered me $40. That's about $1.50, $1.60 per comic. I decided to take that. Um, and then he also seen that I had Amazing Spider-Man comics. There was 11 of them. And he offered me $22.50. I took that as well. And I shipped them for the same price. It didn't cost him any extra shipping. And that was a great deal. So that was the first shipment. He just got it a couple days ago. More than happy. I made sure that they were packed well, secured, and they weren't going to be damaged along the way. I take a lot of pride whenever I ship products, whether it's video games, consoles, comic books, whatever I sell on eBay. I always take pride in shipping it and making sure the buyer is going to arrive to them safe. Next was another shipment that I did. It was 42 older comics. It was basically the leftover of the guy that picked and chose what he wanted. It had a lot of the Disney, a lot of the Looney Tunes, and a lot of my older comics in it. 42 comics, I decided to list them for $25 just to get them gone. This buyer paid for the shipping and it just arrived to him yesterday, I believed, and he was extremely happy with those as well. So 42 older comics, $25, they were really rough shape. He knew that, uh, tears, there was writing on them. He was just happy to see stuff from his childhood. I was more than happy to just make a sale. So that was awesome. And then yesterday's sales was amazing. So I had a returning buyer, the guy that bought the Bone comics and the Simpson comics, messaged me for my 10 New Mutants comics that he wanted. Uh, that I had listed, and I listed them for $30. This guy never negotiates price. He sees them, he thinks it's a great deal, he'll buy them. So this time was 10 New Mutant comics, $30. He took those, and that was about $3 each comic that I sold them for. And then somebody messaged me for my X-Men lots. I did share, and I don't know if it's going to be uploaded yet, or it's going to be very soon. I share all the comics that I found for X-Men in videos for you guys. 
And it was 50 X-Men comics for $150. This guy took them. Whenever I met with them, he was a little bit rude, but he ended up paying for them. Again, that's $3 per comic. That is a great deal for me. I thought that I was going to sell them to somebody else. Somebody offered me $100 for the lots. That's about $2 per comic. But I said, let me wait to the end of the week. If I don't get any other offers, I'll take your deal. Somebody offered me the 150 met with me, took them. I'm more than happy because that's a lot more money in my pockets and I was extremely excited for that. So these are all the comics that I've sold so far out of that 2,000 comic lots and it equals out to be just under $600 of my money made back. So right now, I just need about $400 to break even, but I still have a ton of great comics left. I have a web of Spider-Man, Spectacular Spider-Man, X-Force, X-Factor, and a ton of other great comics as well, along with some of my more expensive comics that I just have yet to list. So hopefully I can list a lot more of it and get a lot more sales rolling in. That would be awesome, but right now, on average, it's about $100 to $200 a day that I'm making on sales, whether that's be just comic books or some of my video game sales or other things that I sell. And that's on the side of my full-time job that I just got recalled back to. So I'm extremely excited. A lot more sales coming in. But with me going back to work now, that does mean that me buying and selling and doing this on the side, it's going to slow down a little bit. Because instead of me having all day to meet somebody, since I'm going back to work nights, that means most of my day is going to be me sleeping. That means meeting with people, it's going to have less times and less options to be able to meet with people. So we'll see how it is. Hopefully I will still make sales on the side. I might not see another 200 day sale in a long time because I'm going back to work, but at least I'm gonna have a full-time job on top of making these sales and my YouTube money coming in as well. So thank you guys for all of your love and support. I hope you guys enjoy this video and hope you guys enjoy all of the comic books that I'm gonna be posting and sharing with you guys on the channel for the next couple of weeks, months to come. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.